if it'll start working. There we go. <laughs> Damn it. Is it true what I'm hearing, Sid? You cracked another crystal? Yes. Oh, poor fella. Whatever am I to do now, Clive? About what? I've two dresses that need stitching, but I haven't got a scrap of linen. Those girls' rags are so threadbare. It's a wonder they don't fall to pieces. And we most certainly cannot have that. A certain amount of decorum must be maintained, even here at the hideaway. You wouldn't want the poor things going without decent clothes now, would you? You... really? Of course not. What can I do to help? Oh, aren't you a dear? You see, I've paid for two bolts of cloth from the drapers in Northreach, blue and red. But they don't deliver, not to places that aren't on the map anyway, so I'll need... Someone to take this receipt and collect them. And you'd have this someone be me. I would. And don't let them fob you off with anything less than what I paid for. One bolt of blue and one of red. I expect them both. Hi, Robo's tall. And no, I didn't see that. I might I must have dismissed it. They said they You have got to be kidding me, Ross. Adrian Whisperer. Must do clothes. But we've no coin. I I could go off for like a couple of hours on that, Ross. Not at you. Not at you. Just The very election process itself is flawed in this country, to be blunt. And there's a fairly large amount of evidence that that is a deliberate screwing. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And before you think I'm attacking the United States again, Ross, I'm not the only country with that problem. Uh, Sid, I... I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if... Well, I know you are from Rosaria, and I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. I can't say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in the Bailey. A shame. You see, the hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late, well, it's our sick who suffer. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might save many lives. Well, let's free to go. Yep, yep, uh-huh, yep, yep, okay, yeah, I, I get it. Is it okay if I start skipping a little bit through these side quests? I'm just reading it at my pace. Is that okay? We're going to a place, it's dangerous because goblins are in the area. It's also an area that used to be patrolled, but, but now, since it's an imperial duchy, and so is the original duchy, they're not patrolling it anymore because they're not taking care of the lands. There, there's all the dialogue you just missed. Because I can read that fast. It's just, god damn it. Sorry. <clears throat> Alright, um. And yes, I've noticed the pluses. I've also noticed the bag icon, which this one is, for example. Now let's see what Valerian just put money for while this is loading, shall we? Oh, dear. Oh, god, that was fast. Curse you, computer, for being so good. Actually, fun fact, I was double-checking, um, oh, the blue quest, that makes sense. Uh, whoops. I was double-checking my, uh, game drive earlier, just cuz, just cuz I was curious. Cuz it's getting a little full, 700 gigs 
is my game uh, drive right now. And that's, I mean, it's not completely full. I got a, I got a terabyte, but still. Of that 700 gigs, 150 of them are this game. That's just what it is nowadays, isn't it? Not a lot of getting around that. I remember when everyone was shocked, myself included, when FF13 was 50 gigs. Okay, so there's Valerian's donation. First of all, thank you very, very much. Always appreciate it. See, my game drive, you, you're surprised it's only a terabyte. That's my game drive. That's my NVMe. That is a very, very nice, very, very fast hard drive. That's why it's the game drive. Like, I actually have... Jeez. Five SSDs? Yeah, exactly, but um, All over the place, which all serve various functions in that thing. But the game drive is different. Like I got the render drive, the render two drive, the render from drive, and and I'm also not talking about my actual deep storage drives. Those are traditional HDDs. Those are big chonkers. That's where most of my videos go once they've been uploaded. And by most, I mean all. Yeah, like that one's a 15 terabyte. That one's. That's one of my older ones. That one's only eight terabytes. That one's 20 terabytes. Ah. Well, what's funny is, so question for all of you. How many of you have certain games that you just leave installed? Now I'll raise my hand because I do leave certain games installed. But I'll tell you why I find that funny in just a second. Yakuza Block One, War Within, and Stranger of Paradise, our other modern Final Fantasy game. Thank you again, Valerian. Well, let's see. What games do I have currently installed? Let's see. So I've got Mega Man. Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man. Combined, all four of those collections are like a pittance of hard drive space. Um, and then I have Tabletop Simulator, Duh. Self-explanatory. Also very small. Undertale, which I have never uninstalled. And One Shot, which I will never uninstall. That's my list. <laughs> That's the whole list. Anyways. <clears throat> Keep them pooches nice and chew. Look at this place. Let's have the drink. In fairness, those are all Mega Man collections. So, you know, each one of those is like six games. So, Tabletop Simulator, uh, it's, it's actually kind of hard to explain what it is in, in one sentence. It's, so, what it actually is, is it is a physics simulator. It is nothing more than a format where you can put, like, a, you can make a table, and you can, like, pick up objects and manipulate them. And that's it. So that's how I play board games nowadays, because people will take pictures and import those board games into the simulator, and that way I can actually play board games, because I don't have a lot of people in person who are into board games. So that's why that one's a duh, because at any point in time, if I want to pop in there and play, you know, uh, what's the name of that zombie survival game that's so awesome? Any of the co-op games that I love, that's the method to do so. I'm a huge board game geek, and it's actually really sad to me. Is that Daisy? I think it is Daisy. Um, because almost none of my friends are board game geeks. No judgment to him, but like Pax, for example, can't stand board games. He finds them incredibly boring. Now feel good, boy. <laughs> I should mention I have several MMOs installed. One of them is getting uninstalled soon. That's Star Trek Online. And by soon, I mean next year. 
exactly match up, Lord. Um, one of them is uh, uh, FF14. Duh. One of them's WoW. Duh. That that's it. That's the list. Might I interest you in some swans down? Thor's dead and gone. Or herringbone. Just some linen. Two bolts. Already paid for in full. Apologies, my lord. But your items aren't here. They were due to arrive on a caravan from Bot. Yeah, okay. Thinks it might so, be yep, sure. bandits. Yes. Wait. Going to find. Oh. Yep, so. I, I even knew this was coming. Of course, the bandits have already stolen supplies. Also, this would be a side quest. ESO I leave uninstalled because there's no real reason for ESO to be installed, if that makes sense. Not, not like staying installed, right? Um, I did forget about Guild Wars 2. I actually do have Guild Wars 2. The reason I use the word duh, I actually don't mind explaining my philosophy behind doing that, is because I feel stupid for explaining the reasoning behind anything that I consider to be a duh. So, of course I leave Tabletop Simulator installed. I don't want to bore anybody with that. And I'm only going to clarify if someone specifically asks me to, because the last thing I want to do is waste anybody's time by mansplaining or anything like that. Yeah, I, for the moment, I'm content with that Blade Tavall. I still have an interest in reviewing it someday, but it's very, very low on the priority list for me. I swear. I mean, right now we've got the Q, uh, obvious, and we've got two fairly large MMOs coming up, duh. And <laughs> I did it again. Then we have um, immediately after that a whole bunch of games that are probably going to be funded, and all of those are nice big chonkers. And then we could finally enjoy a post-caught-up state of being able to actually put money towards things I want to play. And we'll play around with that and see how bad that goes before I start thinking about adding another MMO to the list. Uh, ESO is semi-free-to-play? Now, you're going to ask me for details. I don't remember them. I'm sorry. Who's going to buy my wares now? State your animals left them in. But they hardly damage us all. Is there something wrong? If you're a bandit come to steal my stuff, you're going to be sorely disappointed. And all thanks to this fool. It's your own, Laren. But it, it was you who stepped into my path. Only after that feather brain trampled me. I demand recompense, be it in coin or the items you carry. Refuse, and I shall report you to the garrison and see you hanged. Uh, these these goods are expected in Northreach. I mean, they're not mine to give away. You wouldn't happen to be on your way from Boklad, would you? I, I, I am, but um, did someone from the market send you? Please, please, you have to help me. I, I can pay whatever you ask. So the fool has protection, and coin too. Sorry, friend, but we'll be the ones taking it. Oi, killer! It's time to collect. I told you not to call me that. And we'd have already collected if you hadn't insisted we'd put on this little act. Bandits! As I told one of your customers, it usually is. Let's get this over with. I'll deal with the bird lover. You take the handsome one, killer. Wrong button. Stop calling me that. No, I've noticed a few repeat NPCs. Not too many, but a few. Too slow.
I am confused by that, Ross, to say the least. I also don't know what they've done other than Octopath. So, we'll see. All right, all right. You made your point. Killer my ass. Did he hurt you? No, no, thankfully. He seemed intent on letting the bandit do his dirty work for him. And he would have succeeded had the great lender not sent you. My shipment is safe, and my livelihood with it. You must allow me to reward you. We can speak of that once you're safe in Northreach. I'll accompany you there. That would explain why I don't remember the specifics, but... Well. So, you and my mother were right. It is always bandits. And were it not for the kindness of our free sword here, you'd be buying your order back from them at twice the price. Now, if you don't mind, I have a pressing appointment at the Vale before my return to Bocklad. Yeah, yeah, go have sex. Farewell. Oh, I almost forgot. I suppose you'd be wanting your linen. You'll be happy to know both bolts arrived safely along with the rest of the delivery. I've also added a few extra lengths of our finest fabrics to the bundle. Free of charge. Are you sure? My mother would insist. It's the least we can do for the man who saved our shipment. How's that done then? Now it's back to Hortense with her cloth. No, it's the Acquire team. But for reasons that are I, I, unknown to me, they've been extremely tight-lipped about who's actually been working on a Brothership for a really long time. So this is the first news we've had of anything about who's actually developing it. You have 8 gigs of RAM. What's the best settings to use for OBS? Uh, so you just, asked, you just said something that has nothing to do with OBS, and then asked a very unrelated question. RAM doesn't have much to do with how your OBS runs. OBS is more CPU intensive than anything else. Having said that, uh, try to keep in mind that if you try to go over 3500 uh, bitrate, it doesn't matter because Twitch doesn't support more than that. In fact, it doesn't support more than 1500 unless you're a partner, so keep that in mind too. I would also recommend, unless you are A, a partner, and B, actually care, to go ahead and stream at 720p instead of 1080. Now, we stream at 1080, but that's also partially for the sake of the VODs. The so, near the I push out at 3500, and I push out at 1080p. And 60 FPS, by the way, that's another thing. A lot of people will lower it to 30. Most people won't even notice if you go down to 720p and 30 uh, FPS. And at that rate, your bit rate is a little bit easier to move with. This is silly. Why are you so spread out? Come here. Come here, group up, group up, group up. Hey, good boys. I agree, sir. It's one of the reasons I refuse to go below 30. Yeah, most people also don't have this. I insist on this primarily for YouTube, and that has never not been the correct choice. I've re-examined that choice periodically over the years, and it continues to be the correct choice. You guys insist that I be here in the corner. That's something I've wanted to get you rid of for years. Size of a goblin's eye. Stop it. The only 
the thing you're looking at. No, that's gross. I swear this guy's using the same hammer. No, he's not. It's got nails in it. Never mind. With the guy we just killed, the bandit. Oh, I should probably actually use my abilities. Dagger lock you here. There we go. I spoke, um, Inaccurately, I think is the word I want to use earlier. Someone was like, "Is this world beyond beyond saving?" Bright yellow. Uh, it was during the villain discussion. Is all right. Where the discussion was about. I've gone to this much trouble. Might as well gather as many as I can. The discussion is about whether or not um, we should have a villain, or whether the question of the game should be not be focusing on a villain, so but instead is the world worth saving. Saved. It reminds me of home. And I said, ah, oh, this world isn't worth saving. I didn't actually mean that. I've had my fill of goblins. I actually meant to say something then, but I just spaced. I'm kind of out of it. You're going to have to forgive me. You don't have to forgive me. You can tell me I'm terrible. But I have something on my list. It's rare that we see you so often in the backyard, Sid. What brings you to the gardens? Your thing. I found your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tongue. Did you have any trouble locating them? Finding them was the easy part, but it's odd. They remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, it's possible that the core physicus grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. If the ducal healers were convinced of their properties, that is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. And here we are. A file of pure Morgan Beard extract. A single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. At least I hope it will. Okay. By how much? I just want to know how much. Is that so much to ask? Ah, well. Hey, I'll show up to what you tell. Oh, here we go. Still doesn't actually say. Aha! 24%, 48%. And an additional three, six, and nine seconds, respectively. Um, to answer you, Ross. So, Mario and Luigi 1, 3DS version. Mario and Luigi 2, DS version. Mario and Luigi 3, either version. Are the ones I would recommend without asterisks, okay? Mario and Luigi 4, that's Dream that's Team, is when it gets a little bit more questionable in terms of quality. Uh, I would still say Dream Team is a good game, but it's pretty much the, the beginning of the end for the Mario & Luigi series. 
After that was Paper Jam, which I actively don't recommend playing. And then the series died. Clive, sorry again for sending you all that way. But you did get my order, didn't you? Don't worry. I have it. I believe this will more than satisfy your needs. I only had to kill one bandit this time. Let's see here. One bolt of red, one bolt of blue. What's this? I don't recall ordering any silk or velvet or... Is this gold work? Gregor's ghost. Hello, we That devil of a draper expects me to pay for these. You needn't worry on that score, Hortense. They were a gift. For services rendered. I can always return them if you like. Oh, no. Oh, there's no need to be hasty now, Clive. I'm sure I can put all three to good use. Speaking of which... Which one's most to your liking? Hmm? I... don't know. Oh, um... So, black embroidered linen, white continental silk, or lush red velvet? Which one do you think we should do? I don't know, we've been red for a while. And I do like black and white pretty much equally. Hmm, let's go with black. This one, I suppose. Half a mind to give a piece to Jill. Did you know she's quite the little seamstress? <laughs> I know Needlecraft was amongst her lessons at the castle. Her lessons? Oh, that's right. The two of you were raised together in Rosalith, weren't you? Not quite together, but when my father put down the uprising in the Northern Territories, Jill was taken as a ward to ensure that her father, the Silvermane, would keep the peace. She's an honest-to-goodness princess then, isn't she? I could tell, you know. Some people just had that air about them. Not many round here, mind. I'd offer to sew her something that might better suit her station. But she'd most likely turn me down, as she always does. Tell me not to waste the fabric when it's better used on the children. Don't take it the wrong way. She certainly seems to be attached to the last outfit you made her. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I think she never takes it off. Wah, wah. <laughs> or perhaps she'll make something for herself with your gift. Either way, I'm sure she won't turn it down. We'll see, I suppose. Dress made of linen? Such luxury. Oh, we're nowhere, aren't you? We're never beating the game. There is no beating the game. Yeah, I admittedly I'm not sure how long the DLCs were. And are. what can I do for you? Blade Travel once said I overestimated the, the money on this, and we'll see if that's true or not. But the primary reason I did so was specifically because I wasn't sure how long the DLCs were. You'll not find a better price than that. Did these show up? It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Finished, are you?
Pumpkin soup does sound good. Too good. He might not even be the real Evo. She would never think to make such an incredible thing. Hang on, I know I know a way to test, Evo. Um so I've got some onion for your pumpkin soup. Oh, man and mentioned the cookies. Yeah. I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Understood. And thank you. The curse has spread. Make sure she rests. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. But you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. And interruption. Clive, where are you? In here. What's wrong? Rosaria's under attack. What? This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang. Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith. Trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kupka harbors such a grudge against Sid. <laughs> but as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, I am not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Again. Hugo Kuka must die. I've lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. Finally get our royal guard. After all, we're in this together. All right. As are. Our spruce. I'll speak to Otto before leaving. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. You wanted to suggest a negative, our spruce, yesterday. Yeah, sorry, Rosa. You gotta stay behind. Where the hell am I? Where am I? Oh god, I'm completely turned around. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Clive. 
alive in D and D terms, Paladin. One day, I want to see. He's even got an oath. We must be ready to leave for Rosalith at a moment's notice. Don't worry. Gov gave you the news then. We're leaving for Rosalith, but not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. He said before. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian, in the hope she can make sense of them. If you're set on going, you'll want to talk to her. Understood. Congrats, Actos. The last thing we need is a Hulk on the enemy's side. Ah, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Congrats, Let's Ross. See now, where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well Save attended. Save before you go to the inn, Ross. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge, uh, can't hurt? We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. What's the situation there? <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost, but to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. I hate to repeat myself, but you caught me, right, Ross? Because that's a really important piece of information. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmechian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmechia's last line of defense, a fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the Fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present. Deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. We need to find him a girl. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. Mate. What of Port is older then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident, but not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas. It will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The North. We cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. 
A little local knowledge goes a long way. And so must you. We'd best get a move on, then. Oh. Will you be going, too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on. Yeah, in a lot of Final Fantasy games, Titan's still part of the so-called mid-tier summons, but is usually one of the higher mid-tier summons. Seven's a good example, though, and four. It makes sense. He's he's a giant. Dude's name is Titan. Fortify the castle gates at once. Hugo and his men have been busy. They've already breached the castle's outer wall. The Imperials are holding the ground for now, but it's only a matter of time before the keep falls. Those fuckers really went to town on this place. Almost like they want to wipe it off the map. Just a means to an end. All this for one man? They didn't have to go so far. If you keep your wits about you, I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Be careful. Likewise. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. It's like a nightmare. This was our home. Come on, Clive. We have to keep going. Mm, I doubt she's that smart, honestly, Trahexia. So, thoughts on Clive. It's a massacre. He'll stop at nothing, Clive. Nothing. <sighs> Why? Why do this? Clive, we can get through here. I 
I'm just seeing if it wears off. It's looking like a no. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, I'm kind of in the same bout. I don't dislike Clive at all. He's well acted, and there's a lot of things that he should be that are that would have been negatives that aren't. But I can't say I'm overly engaged by him. And I think I've been chewing on an opinion for a while now. And you're all gonna hate me for it. Especially Rax. And Blade Tomorrow. I yield! I yield! <laughs> Here. Gentlemen! Are you this stupid? Like, for real. Okay. You won't escape! So anyways. So here's my theory. You ready for my big lore theory? I think Clive was either originally, or even in its final version, designed to be a silent protagonist. Dragon Quest, Chrono Trigger, um, Persona games. And at some point in development, they decided to give him a voice and a voice actor, but he still operates in the same slot that a voiceless protagonist is, right? He's primarily there to be us. He's just there to be a vehicle for the player, an avatar, literally. And that's kind of what he feels like, because think about a lot of the things that Clive is. He's definitely someone who wants to help, right? He, when, when something exasperating happens, he's just like, really? When someone is trying to threaten or hurt someone else, he's immediately like, I'm going to deal with this immediately. Like, there's, there's, there's a lot of things about him that feel like they're designed to be an MMO main character. It's just one that has a voice. He reminds me a lot, because uh, there's a specific thing uh, that someone said yesterday which made me think about that. He reminds me a lot of the main character over in Guild Wars 2, the Commander. The Commander is fully voiced, for those of you who haven't played, who haven't played Guild Wars 2. But if you put a gun to my head and force me to describe the personality of the Commander, I would have difficulty doing so because they're Clive, right? I'm not saying that's a bad thing, by the way. But I think it's why, as a character, for the most part, there's just not much there for me to chew on or to analyze. And again, it's not like he's a bad character, he's just a vehicle for the player. Yeah, he is a good person, and that's fine. I'm with it. Out of our way. I think it works for what they're going for here. Okay. Well, Torah was built with very different intent and purpose in mind, so that makes sense. Torah was, in many ways, you know, a, a CRPG, right? Where's the asshole? There he is. But, point, point being, I agree with you, Evo. It's not like you can't do that. If you put another gun to my head, that's two in one sentence, I would say he's a decent person in an indecent setting. Not like he's the only one in this game. But he just happens to have the power to do something about it. Uh, Come on, take him! Here, don't mind me. 
Actually, yeah, Ned Stark. I didn't even think about that, but that's a good comparison. Actually, yeah, another archetype I could see, or archetype, probably. another character I could see him being similar to is Kiryu. Once again, not an insult. Stagger bar? What stagger bar? Yeah, it wasn't a thick guy this time. It was a thin guy. Um. I'm gonna say something. It doesn't matter. Point being, I like Clive, and I do, for the record. I really. I know some people take words like, oh, this is like an MMO as an insult. I am not one of those people. Really, really clear about that. It's the out. Get out of my city or die. This would be or die. Yeah, the Warrior of Light certainly finally developed into a character in more recent expansions. I'm curious to see where that goes in Dawn Trail. Much as I love WoW to death, and I do, we've never really gotten that much characterization for our main characters. <laughs> Just you. Are you the only guy here? Go away. Well, I'm not too familiar with Game of Thrones, load. So I'm, I'm not the person to ask, though. We're nearly at the castle. It ends there. Yeah, I've been turned around a few times. And normally I would actually have dung dung? Dinged that already. But the hey, here's where you're supposed to go button completely mitigates that. Killing Drew Musper. So this is actually an interesting situation. As of this exact moment in time, I have nothing to spend my ability points on that I want. That's not really a complaint, it's just interesting. We'll just sit on him for now. Because, I mean, we are about to get tight. Hi! You know what? Come here. Yep. Uh, 
How does it work? It follows us? Remind me. Everything's at max that isn't master. And master just gives it the ability to be used in a different thing. You're the one doing it. So, yes. Everything is as maxed as it's getting at the time. I was thinking about that, Blake Devon. Since at some point we're going to run out of slots to have new icons. Set her loose! Oh no, it's. Uh. Red 13? They have a curl. <laughs> Probably, Luke. Attack! Ready? What do you think? I mean, that is straight up a displacer beast. Hit me, Ross. I'm ready. Break me down. Too slow. Have curl mounts in 14? I really don't know. And he moved.
Jill! We meet at last, Sid. Oh, for God's sakes. Or should I say Lord Rosfield? I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. <laughs> I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard. <laughs> Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. Be still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your stowering moment. Negative to story. I don't care. I don't care. Negative to story. Now, on to the festivities. Just great, that is. Now, I suppose it's. Let me play to as Torgal. We'll let some of that slide. That guy's woo. Where do you want me? You! Bring the prisoner! <laughs> yeah, it's no more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> we should get into mine. <laughs> Lord Kupka commands your presence. You're to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such a waste. <laughs> Thank you, Gav. Gav! Shh! <laughs> Crystal fetters are a bastard to open, just so you know. Hold on, hold on. What is going on with the bot? Hang on, we, we've lost the, the, the bot here. There we go. Don't worry, I'll have him off before you can blink. Where's still In the courtyard. Shit. <laughs> We have to hurry. The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle. But the place is still swarming with Kupka's men. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back. Quick as you like, eh? Ah. Nearly forgot. Hold on, Jill. I'm coming. I have to get.
get to the courtyard. No, we gotta finally fight Titan. I'm only gonna give it the one negative. The majority of that negative is definitely for the nature of how we go immediately, and I do mean immediately from a boss fight she's participating in to, oh yeah, by the way, Jill's captured. Like, come on. Also, well, there's really no nice way to say this, but like, Jill is probably not the kind of person who should be playing Princess Peach here. I mean, Princess Peach shouldn't be playing Princess Peach here, but you get my point, right? Come on. And yeah, that's the other thing. If they're going to execute her anyways, if the whole point is, if you move, I'll kill her. Okay, now that I've got you in chains, I'll kill her. What? <laughs> Why did we even begin to go along with it? And yeah, Kupka is also a moron for specifically and implicitly going out of his way to not just kill her on the spot. If he was going to kill her in front of him, he could have just done it right there. I will buy that Jill is not fully powered and or doesn't have full control of her powers. That makes sense. I'll actually give you that. And it's not like Don't Koopka is particularly hot, smart. Die. But, no. Negative to story. Moving on. Sorry, I said I wouldn't uh, explain my reasoning. I apologize. <sighs> if we gotta have the cool pants. I hope you've got a plan, Clive, because we are fucked if you don't. Okay, here's my plan. Attack. Go. Seriously, we're this close to her dying. He's raising the axe, for Christ's sakes. Uh. Jill, can you stand? Come, come, Lord Rosby. Don't tell me you tire of my entertainment. Enough! Yes. Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. I trust you are hungry! Need this? Much obliged. Stay close. We're getting out of here. And Toggle, thank you. Who or whatever you are. Can you explain what the fuck your dog just you did? Heard, man. Later. No. Everyone with me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Group up. Group up. Group up. Not you. You don't give good hugs. Okay, that's all the trash. Back. Woo! All right, what are we doing? How was that nonsense? Ah! 
behind. So anyways, you guys are dead. Still breathing, are you? Excellent. Then Lord Kupka's reward shall be ours. I thought Bud News always came in threes. Let it does. Too slow. Sipping tea, Monobra. Yeah, he's got those giant ass gaudy rings that he got for five bucks. It's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. And they won't stop hunting us until Koopka's dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go on. If they come again, we'll hold them back. All right. But be careful. Don't worry, she's not going to get captured again. Right? I'm going to laugh if, like, the next major plot point is Jill got captured. <laughs> then I'm going to cry, but I'm going to laugh first. He'll die by my hand. I actually do find it legitimately hilarious that he's all pissy about a woman who didn't love him, didn't care about him, and was only using him. Just enjoying your entertainment. How gratifying. Have you come to defend your father's throne, Lord Rosfield? <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler, an army, even a people. 
A veritable kingdom of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. No! Enough of your games, Kupka. Just tell me what you want. Sid's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. He should forget. Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. The only crimes I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. It was... you. I mean, we didn't chop her head off and mail it to you, but yeah, we killed her. You... you killed her. Yeah, yeah. I did. And I am fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seems I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. We shared a dream! I would be the king of the world! She would be my queen! And together, we would rule like the gods we are! But you crushed that dream, ground it into dust! Hail me, most fears! You will pay! For what you've done, I'll tear you apart with my hands. No. And what of you? How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. Get no pity from me, Kuka. No pity and no mercy. Now die! It is time you learned what becomes of those who dare to cross me. I'll kill you! Too slow. 
die by my hand, Rustfield. My hatred for you is unending. And you then, let this palace be your grave! What? Oh, shit. <laughs> the world has chosen. I am in my element. That's no escape. The earth will always be my domain.
about to lose this fight due to that little hiccup. I'm sort of counting on that damage. And yeah, I had to finish off with lightning. Come on. Thought about using Garuda, but no. <sighs> Round three. <laughs> That makes so much sense. Yeah, when you don't have magic defending them, they, uh... They're a little fleshier. Don't delay. Just go right down the, the skull. Right, you're, you're delaying. You're delaying. 
Uh, you're already too s Kill him! And too late. I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! You're gonna die of blood loss if you don't quit doing that. You know, being totally honest, getting Titan's powers is neat and all, but can we just kill this guy? You can get a power from a corpse, come on. Actually, I don't know if we can get powers from a corpse. Yeah, think about how much those $5 rings cost him. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> With what hands? There, there. You mustn't get yourself worked up. Who the hell are you? Wait! Another time, Mythos. Oh. Is that all of them? I think so. Well, Ludus scum. Who the fuck invited them? Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had today. Where did you learn to do that toggle? I understand Not everything. Today. Suit yourself. Gav, we have to find Clive. Right, sorry. Sorry, Jill, I thought you were too busy being in the corner and being powerless. You missed one. We were worried. So was I. I was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. When did the Royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans, Lot. In Pile Odins. Not enough of them to worry us, though. No. You didn't see the one who took Kukra away. So, what? You think they came here to save him? Well, I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. So what do we do? Go back to the hideaway. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. And after what Jill's been through, let's worry about Kuka later, shall we? I. All right. Well, give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud too. Well, plus he can't jack off, Mr. Red. So I've been chewing on it for a bit, and despite the weird animation tonic using thing, which completely threw me. <laughs> I think that's our first triple positive boss fight. Just by itself.
That was a really, really, really good fight. That I shouldn't have won, and we should have had to redo. Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. I forgot to check that. Remind me to check my equipment after this. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question is... Where is he now? And what the hell were those royalists doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The Lawsman. About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friend's ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. As weird as it sounds, I do think it's not a good thing that Kupka's still alive. His role in the narrative really has concluded, rather thoroughly, with a very satisfying boss fight, no less. So, like, why are they keeping him around, right? Now, we'll see, right? We'll see what they do with him. But, especially Ultima being interested in him? That's even more confusing. Especially, especially since Ultima was like, yeah, all right, I would claim my vessel. That's all, that's all I cared about before, but, you know, I'm busy. We'll see. Oh yeah, we didn't fight Titan yet, but like, eh. I will say one thing that I don't buy. Like, live hating him, I'm actually with. But I kind of don't buy it. If you're going to have a character that we have that much investment in taking down, they need to have a little bit more screen time. At least for it to be that personal. Blackthorn may be the manliest of men, but he does lack a certain tenderness. Goots, meanwhile, is as burly as a behemoth but as innocent as a babe in arms. <laughs> All right, quick. Everyone in chat say either I agree or I don't agree. I don't care which. Just pick one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. He did all this stuff to fight him and he killed his home and he did all sorts of stuff to screw this town and blah, blah, blah. But I don't care. Right? The problem is they didn't do enough to develop him as a character. It's like... Let me put it to you this way. Let's say for a moment there's a character who pops up into a show or a game or a movie, and we find out that there's someone that they absolutely despise because they killed their puppy and skinned their puppy and ate their puppy. And like, okay, so the character obviously has plenty of investments to go after that person. And then we see them, let's actually count, shall we? Three times total across like 40 hours, and then I'll kill you. We don't have any reason to care. 
if I can use a parallel, because I've actually talked about this before. Um, actually, yeah, Rex. But I actually have another game that has more or less this exact same problem in a different expression. How many of you have seen Mass Effect Andromeda or played it? Now, for those of you who didn't, I'm about to spoil the first, like, 20 minutes of the game. Okay, you ready for this? So, at the first 20 minutes of the game, our dad dies. Now, that is kind of a spoiler, but it really isn't. Because, again, it really is the first thing that happens right at the beginning. And, of course, the game treats it like it's this big, amazing, impacting event. Which it is... For them. Not for us. Because we met them 20 minutes ago. I had a whole speech about this, actually, if you remember, when we were playing Andromeda for the first time. And it was just like, yeah, okay. It's a similar concept. You have to develop the player's interest, not just the characters. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Equipment. 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 Uh, I don't actually have a Berserker ring. Andromeda has several issues with it, which I don't want to go too far down the rabbit hole on that because Andromeda has several issues with it. Um, actually, yeah, Ross, that's another example of that. It's one of those weird things because, honestly, we it, it makes so much sense why, uh, why Clive hates Kupka. Duh, right? Like I'm, I'm not questioning that. But I don't. Because you didn't do anything with them. Alright, what do we got for Titan? Actually, yeah. That's another that's a good example, Rex. Hell, the loss of Sid hit like a truck. Because, you know, we've been with Sid since like the, the two hour marker, you know? Let's see here. Um, both of these are charge moves. And that's a block counter. And of course, then there's just the block. I don't know. Ulta who, Miranda? Ah, damn you, offshore Twitch account. Damn you to hell! But thank you for leaving the comment. Here, I'll go read it right now. I will pause the stream to read your comment. Ooh, I will bug the program out. Holy crap. Conal Eweet, nah, thanks. I got a charge. Oh, it's about Rayman. That's that's a really long thing. I'll read that later. Because that's about Rayman. Ross, I need you to buy Brothership and tell me how it is. Or, I mean, I mean, I mean. Uh, let's see here. Let me think about this for a second. Mastering Titanic Block gives me uh, increased limit break gauge upon a block. Hmm. I'm going to lose all my Ramu abilities for the moment. You know, truthfully, I don't know Blue Fusion Vault. I have heard... Don't actually, I've never actually, you know, verified this information. Um, that Japanese companies in general do not like to reveal who's working on a specific thing. Something to do with poaching.
It is what I've heard is the reason why so many older games don't have people's actual names in the credits. I mean, yeah, Japanese business culture is its own thing. I do know that. Uh, let's get rid of all this crap I'm not using. Uh, let's get rid of that. that. Alright. Then let's grab... Gouge. there and then that there and then that there okay so what that means is we'll go ahead and replace Gerudo actually excuse me Ramo with Titan and we'll put uh, that there and that there we'll see how that feels remember where to turn in Renown at. Because I've probably upgraded my Renown. Thankfully it's not this person right here. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Is everything we've received and everything promised. Such is the renown of Sid the Outlaw you, that much of my clientele would rather spend their time probably about your endeavors than making endeavors of their own. For that, I feel I owe you at least a portion of my earnings. Particularly an amateur sort left this on the nightstand. May it serve you better than it did him. Ha ha ha! Here you are. That's true. Thank you for, for acknowledging what I just accomplished, Doom Rider. Used to be able to step into a tavern only find myself overwhelmed with quests for seeing Die in the Bold or Curl the Serving Girl, but now everyone's here is Sid the Outlaw. You made me very much bad, my friend. This. Best of luck out there, Sid. So, sorry, for those of you who didn't actually catch that, I have Boost Gill, Boost X, Boost Ability Points equipped. And this is how I beat Titan on my first attempt. <laughs> Berserker Ring. The Berserkers of Southern Ash, known for the Oh my god. Temporarily increases attack proficiency with each precision dodge. I'm not sure what that means, but we'll try it for a bit. See how that feels. Not all of the nobles made it out alive. Could... Ah, my favorite pupil. What is it that you wish to learn? Ah, oh, where is he? Where is he? There he is, Kupka, my boy. This is how power is exercised. It is time you knew your place. The man who took everything from me. Your end will be swift, his pain eternal. Thus ends today's lesson. Hang on. The Littlands have been up to their old tricks again. She looked white as a sheep. Is it business or pleasure? If you're gonna I do like older women. About 
It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Look, she said it, Meat Fist, not me. What Clive does in his own time is his business. Otto, is now a good time? It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's do what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and their other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet, but it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Who are you? Mid. Oh. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right, you win. How long will you be staying this time? Don't know, a while most likely. Any road, while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid, you can't just expect me to- Please, <sighs> oblige her. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So... I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on! Breath of fresh air? Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you on about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little and we just leave the storm was it i wonder what mid's plotting wow. Look, she gives me an airship i don't even care i'll put up with whatever give me my freaking airship i'm very mid on the archetype of the hyperactive, uh, I think it's the Manic Pixie Girl, I believe is what that trope is called. Let's see here. Yeah, I think that actually started with five, with Kryl. Six had Realm, seven had Yuffie. Uh, eight, um, eight had, uh, Selfie. I'm not sure nine had one. No, I guess Aiko qualifies. Aiko feels like a little bit more fleshed out than your typical one, though. And yeah, tens is Riku. Obviously, ten twos is Riku dialed up to eleven, amazingly. Uh, twelve. Twelve didn't have one. Nello's as close as they get, and she's... No. She's not in that same direction. Uh, 13 had... Um, I can't remember her name. I can see her face. The 100-year-old. Benil, that's her. Thirteen two again, had Benil. 
I guess 13 3 didn't really have any. And then 15. <laughs> Marl doesn't count for this. No, I was going to say Eris as well. Yeah. Eris. Um, and now we're here. Oh, Lumina. You know what? Yeah, I'll give you that. It didn't matter. No, the actual answer for the Manic Pixie Girl of 13, uh, excuse me, of 15 is Prompto. That's why I was laughing. You took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. I like your scarf. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. If sick could see you now. All right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the designs for the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. <sighs> Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Valerian, we, we need to have a chat. Just just come right here. Back, back behind the shed, Valerian. Come on. Um... So, I uh, just be getting some rest here. purely personal preference, but off the top of my head, the first time the Manic Pixie Girl uh, actually bothered me was 10 2. And at least in part, that's because Riku, even though she was the Manic Pixie Girl of 10, was an actual goddamn character in 10. Have been up to their old tricks again. Whereas a, it's, it's actually funny, in 10. There's a lot of non-characters that get turned into characters in 10 2. It's one of the things I like about 10 2 is how much it fleshes out the cast. Riku is one of the very small number of people who just just in terms of character quality alongside brother. Like she was just what in 10 2? All depth, all interest, all development, it's all gone. Instead, she's just wee! I'm an idiot. I was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. I have no idea, Zara. And I don't care. <laughs> Think you can find everything on there? This lot would be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment, it's paid hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Nice. Indeed, it would. So she's the one who set the water filters up. Stuff onto mid when I sort of suspected. In. Thank you, Karen. Um what the And what can I do for you? What, what's new? I just got here. Okay, that's an actual upgrade. Let's grab that. You'll not find a better price than that. Mm. Is that all? Um Sorry, to, just to finish my thought very quickly. Ten two was the first time that that, that archetype bothered me. 
And then 12, like I said, didn't have one. But then 13 had Vanille, and I did not like Vanille as a character. They, they came close to Vanille being interesting, but I don't think they succeeded. Prompto I liked. Prompto's cool. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you, from Mid. She requires certain tools. No kidding, Jabez. I'm, I'm someone who doesn't particularly like 15, but man, the Central 3 cast was amazing. Was she planning to build with this stuff and their ship? I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolf's available. Hmm. I don't know, Valerian. 13's cast includes hope. I don't know if it's physically possible to like hope. It is a sheet when they brought her back. Yeah, no, like, Vanille was almost an interesting duo with Zaz. Which, well, in my opinion, I don't think they succeeded at. But they came close. Do with a good oil in this, good. Should be enough to keep us going. How do, Master Sid? Bardolf. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I... <laughs> sorry, sorry. Just stab snow, Shinji. If I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I'd gladly spare mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. In the interest of fairness, I've only ever lore run to 13 I've never reviewed it. It, it's true, Ross. Tell me Kamari's character in 10. <laughs> um. Heroes don't need plans or pants. Favorite. Oh, what is my favorite aspect of 13? So I'm famously pretty down on 13 while also defending it, which is weird, but that's the internet for you. Um. But I was going to say, the easy answer is the music. I actually rather enjoy quite a bit of the music from 13. Let me chew on that when we do this cutscene. Clive, what brings you to the rest? Our uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. I got it. As far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. This is kind of a cheat, because it's not an aspect. It's actually a scene. More like an extended scene. Rax even knows what it is, but I don't remember the name off the top of my head, because I'm bad with names. So it's not an aspect, but it's going to have to go with it. Uh... Listen, Rax, I need you to remember the name of the town where Hope lives for me. His dad. 
Palum Palum. That's a... I, again, that's not an aspect, but that's probably my favorite individual thing from FF13. Everything about that sequence of events is kind of awesome. I remember the first time I ever played through the game being... I'm sorry, I, I don't have a way to say this that's nice. I was really not liking FF13. And I was basically dragging myself through it, making fun of it constantly. I was sitting next to Gary. We were playing on his big screen TV in his house. And we were both just taking the piss because we both hated the game. And then we got to Palum Palum and it was just like... It was such a shift from my perspective at the time. Time to fool me. Fire it. But if I had to pick an aspect, something about, say, game design or theme or something more abstract, that's it, the music. Um. the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Building a workshop, you say? Well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I, before we go? Of course. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could, uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. I've actually got it. The brickwork. I will admit, I'm not a huge fan of the over-designed look that Final Fantasy games in general do and have for forever. But just the background visuals of a lot of the zones are varied and interesting and well-designed. The Crystalline Lake, or the Artificial Jungle, or... Giant barren plains, you know. Like, there's a lot of good brickwork positives that I think in the 13 will get. Probably not as many sprite works. I'm not a big fan of the enemy design or the character designs, that game. but brickwork, yeah, I, I can see that being. Super cool. There's our berserker, right? Oh, I have all your stuff written down, Arsmus. I'm not going to. Just in case you're wondering, because I never responded to that. There's a lot to chew on, so I decided to just write it down.
The formatting was a bit weird, but I got him. and not recommending to you, I don't think so. Oh, Jesus, that's actually worse than I thought. Oh, I'm not feeling the block so far. Uh, 40%? I want you all to kill me real quick. Dinner's gonna be a little early tonight. Okay. Uh, I do appreciate the warning. So I my sister has never heard of this thing called a plot. No, I just... <laughs> unlike my husband, who intends to have dinner ready by, like, 5.30 or 6.00, but never has it ready until... It's not that Until 7.30 or 8.00, because he doesn't know how time works. I know how long things are going to take, and so I start a little bit earlier so that I get done at an intended time. I mean, that makes yeah, sense. about 15.00 to 20.00. In that case, I will probably finish this quest and then wrap it. Yeah, I, I, I'm not feeling Titan so far. Am I just doing something wrong? Like, I've gotten the Titan block pop up several times. So, what are we cooking? Uh, we are having beans and cornbread with fried potatoes and fried potatoes and sausage and green bean Caesar. That should do it. Huh. You made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Oh, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Though it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. I am... A little weirded out they didn't give us a here's enemies tailored to you take Titan me, section list. You remember that? They've given us a here's enemies tailored to your new 
thing several times now, but they just... They're like, alright, go kill a bunch of random trash with Titan. Part of the problem I'm having, and I, I'm not sure I can actually work around this, is it's R. Now you're probably thinking, well, yeah, of course it is, Lord. You dumb, worthless, stupid, terrible human being who deserves to die! You deserve to die! Um, it's because R... If you remember, I was having so many issues dodging in this game when dodge was up on R instead of down on B. This is so much more quick and efficient for me. It's why I can hit the timing so better. I'll poke with it. I'll poke at it. And yeah, I was actually debating that, screwing with the bindings a little bit more. We can do that. It's okay. This There's actual proper rebindings. So yeah, let's go turn this in, get our next step, and we'll call it for the night very early. For which I do apologize. Oh, and thank you, Met Overlord, for being part of the show. I will jot that down. Or Overlord, appropriately enough. I mean, I love Royal Guard in Dylan Cry. I have since it first started existing, which I believe was three. I, I don't even have to prove that. Go watch my run of the Devil May Cry series I did last year. Hell, uh, it's in the highlight reel of me pulling off some absolutely stupid blocks over there. Metaphor. Someone check, is Metaphor on the list? have been up to their old tricks again. Okay. I'll tell you what, Matt Overlord. I will put that towards adding metaphor to the list. How's that sound? I have to look at how long that game is. Getting some rest. Actually, you know what? Why don't we save right here? Staring at me, and she's like, "Have you finished my things, Clive? Clive!" And then he stops existing. He's just gone. So let's look at the stuff our screws brought up. I wouldn't mind other people's feedback on some of these things. I've already given negatives for several of the things being mentioned. These are all potential negatives. Jill being relegated to being the uh, the cardboard character is something I have already dinged. Uh, that's actually shorter than I was expecting, Mr. Ed, considering Persona 5 was over the 100 marker. Anyways, um, what's the matter for 4? <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> Racism. Um, yeah, Jill, I don't know what the hell they're doing with Jill here. Uh, it's... Uh, she, it's, I, I keep comparing her to Pinello. And and I keep feeling like it's it's the same thing. Now, she has improved by virtue of actually getting dialogue and screen time ever since the time skip. I off the deep end. But they just... I, I, I stand by what someone said earlier in chat. I forget who said it. Forgive me. Uh, they mentioned that it felt like the, the writers just didn't know what to do with Jill. So she's just kind of whatever she needs to be for the scene, you know? Yeah, I liked her scene in the Iron Kingdom. In fact, I gave it its own positive, separate individual positive just for the moment because that was an awesome scene. Yeah, can we have more of that? <laughs> it also feels like such an obvious thing from my perspective of making the ice character the deuteragonist of alongside the fire character. I know we're not fully fire, but you get my overall point. Like, there's... There's such an obvious red and blue thing going on there. I can't believe they didn't go for that. But instead, she's mostly just kind of there. Or is there. Or is a damsel. Or is a total badass. Like I said, it, it, they, they keep changing their mind on her. And it's very strange. Um, I'm going to write down a question mark on that. We'll see where they go with that. Um, there's also something so...
the way, so R. Spruce says, I'll just read what R. Spruce says word for word here. Um, empty text and drama padding have already, uh, already have, hang on, nope, <laughs> sorry, structure. Empty text and drama pad out an already long narrative, but the significant lack of tangible gameplay because Clive has to be the solo protagonist means what is solid gameplay gets stretched thin. I have a term for that, Dragon Age 2 Syndrome, uh, something I've already commented on. I will admit it certainly is getting better because we're getting more kit, but again, the spacing of that kit is weird, which brings me to R. Spruce's second point. Um, and this, it feels like there's a waiting game, waiting for equipment, waiting for materials, waiting for health bars, waiting for the next icon, and having core kit locked behind story progression is standard. But having the narrative with so much untrimmed fat on the top means so much of the kit is unaccessed for about two-thirds of the game, which I admittedly have already agreed with is a issue. Um, that's true, Blade all. Like, I, I, I don't know what was going on behind the scenes on this one. Um... And then the last thing was like a spoiler thing. So yeah, like even now we fought, we just we just got Titan. I'm not sure where we're at timeline wise. I'd have to add it up, but I'm pretty sure we're at the forty plus hour mark now, and we just got Titan. I know that you don't want to push everything too far forward, but I think what we're having here is a bit of a domino effect, because they want to have the narrative that they have, and they aren't willing to trim it in any way, shape, or form. Um, and so instead, we get the abilities that we're supposed to get when we're supposed to get them narratively, which feels like it's hurting the gameplay. This is something I've actually seen a lot in game design. Um, yeah, the dominance effect, where uh, something is being done for the purposes of the story in a way that makes sense for the story that actually hinders the gameplay, right? And I feel like this is one of those things. Because it does make sense narratively, the flow we've had with regards to getting what we get and where we get and how we get. But gameplay-wise, it's like... I've actually been debating that exact same dichotomy and thinking about uh, pacing narratively as a positive and then pacing gameplay-wise as a negative for pretty much the exact same reason. What are y'all's thoughts? Also, this silence is driving me crazy. Uh, let's go with... I don't know. FF9, that's a good thing. Put this up here. I was going to jot down some thoughts on pacing anyways. And that's another thing. Um, the... I have no real way to phrase this in conclusion. But I keep getting the vibe and impression, based on something several people have said, that essentially the gameplay will continue to get better later, which makes sense. But th that would be fine if the game was shorter, is the simplest way to put that, right? If, there, if the narrative had been trimmed down a little bit, so that there were less of these gaps before the next staircase, I would be a lot more in favor of that. Because there is staircase design going on here. Each new icon is a substantial change in what we can do and how we can do it. It's a complete rejiggering of, okay, hang on. So we've got to change this around, and we put this over here, and we've got this new R ability, and these three new abilities, and this new ultimate, and we can push this over here. That's good. Staircase. But the problem is those staircases are really spread apart. And yeah, I've, I have heard... That New Game Plus exists. I don't know the, the the format of it, but assuming New Game Plus is your typical New Game Plus, that would smooth over a lot of these issues because at that point you have the kit right at the get-go, and so you just you run and you have fun with it. You want to vary things up at that point, you just vary up your build, which you can do because there's literally uh, uh, templates, loadouts that you can use. And yeah, I, I think... This is a purely personal thing. But I think that at least part of the problem is that this is a Devil May Cry game that's like 70 to 90 hours long. I know that sounds strange, but for a bit of perspective, let's look up Devil May Cry 5, which is the longest of the DMCs. Now, I knew what I was doing, but I also did a playthrough on, on a harder difficulty just to push myself a little bit. And my run of Devil May Cry 5 that I did last year was 12 hours. Now, 
If you're playing for the first time, that's probably going to be a little bit longer. But even if we push that all the way up to 20, you can see the gap, right? DMC5 in its entirety was a game that we are double past now. We're at the 40-ish hour mark. And we don't even have the same level of kit of what we have over in that game. Like, think about all of the incredible variety that Nero has. Then think of the general fun of V. Then think of the insane variety in kit that Dante has, right? You get my point. An ARPG in general uh, needs, this is my opinion, needs to be a little bit more shrunk just because it is such an intense type of game that you want those staircases, those kits, those abilities to have fun with uh, consistently throughout. Otherwise, it will inevitably reach a point of just starting to be a little bit dull, right? You'll, you'll, you'll keep eating the Reese's Pieces and eventually you'll stop really enjoying them. Yeah, exactly. A 90-hour Kingdom Hearts game sounds like hell to me. And everybody who knows me knows... I love Kingdom Hearts, so I feel like that's the, the, the thing here, is they wanted to do a Devil May Cry gameplay, which I'm with, with a Final Fantasy story, which I'm with, and <laughs> it's the combo, right, that I think is having issue. And, you know, that's actually quite possible, Blade Trevall. That is entirely feasible, that if we were to somehow just math out the, the combat sections, that this doesn't have less uh, or even more combat than Devil May Cry 5. It's just, all right, you know, quests, dialogue, dialogue quests, cutscene quests, dialogue quests, 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 dialogue quests. Okay, dungeon. Like, I don't know. Something to chew on. I also want to give my prediction here for those of you who actually have bothered to stick around this long, either in the VOD or the stream. This is obviously way too early to predict this, but I think this game, which is a damn good game, is going to fit in the uh, the flawed masterpiece category for me, which which I usually put like say Final Fantasy X two, Final Fantasy twelve, or Final Fantasy X in games that are very very good. Asterisk, right? That's what this feels like so far to me. This is a very very good game. Asterisk. And I want to emphasize that because I obviously I'm talking primarily about negatives right now, but as you can see by the number next to me, the positives are definitely drowning them out. I actually would not be surprised. So I'm going to buy this game for PAX when it comes on sale next as an early Christmas present. And I'm, I am probably going to give him the advice of don't be ashamed to use those auto, the, the accessories that, that you start the game with to just kind of smooth over some of the doldrums, right? Especially during some of the earlier parts of the game when you don't have access to the kit to really make the combat enjoyable. Anyways. I'm going to go uh, have delicious food with family. Tomorrow, hopefully not too late. I'm still a little sick. My throat's still killing me. Um, I'm going to try to get to bed at a decent time tonight, so hopefully tomorrow we'll start off at a good time. And then... We'll go ahead and keep going, because I'm very curious where exactly we're going next. We're, I don't know what we're doing next at this point. We're in such a weird spot on the story. Like, we took out the fire crystal. Cool. And that's some great moments for Jill. We took out Koopka. Kind of. Cool. Now what? 